Joined by Colorado Avalanche prospect Jeremy Hansel, defenseman with the Seattle Thunderbirds. Jeremy, first of all, hey, congratulations on uh, being selected by the Avalanche in the 2023 NHL Draft. Uh, take me back to that day, June 29th. Uh, where were you? Who were you with? And uh, just take me through the moment uh, when you saw that the Colorado Avalanche had called your name. Well, oh, firstly, thank you for congrats. But I was just, uh, I was just at home. You know, parents were were working that day, so I was just kind of. You know, I knew a bunch of my buddies were going to get drafted this year, and I didn't have too too high expectations for myself. But you know, I was just there was a chance there, so I was watching the draft. You know, text my buddies as they were getting drafted, and you know, when I saw the, saw my name called, it was just it was a surreal moment for sure. Like I never experienced anything like that before. Obviously, it's just I don't know. It was just really it was it was a really special moment for me. You talk about your buddies, but let's talk about you, Jeremy. I mean, you know, we we know your story, right? Uh, you know, a 19-year-old player in the league. You look last year at the NHL draft, uh, a bunch of 19-year-old players from the WHL were drafted. Uh, you know, Ryan Hofer, Dalen Kiefler, the guys that you've played against a fair bit uh, during your time in this league. You know, does it make it that much sweeter kind of knowing, uh, you know, that that you've put in the work and and have kind of kind of overcome maybe even a little bit of adversity to to get to this point? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, you know, super, super great being drafted and, you know, it just kind of proves to myself even that, you know, the work, all the work that I've been putting in is kind of, kind of paid off, you know, like I've talked to, you know, Davidson throughout the years and, you know, I talked to him last year about it and he said it was special it was just, you know, him putting in the work, you know, we were both were undrafted into the WHL, both drafted at 19 to the NHL is kind of special and we both kind of just appreciate the, the work that we put in. Yeah, that's another great example, right? Jared Davidson, uh, fifth rounder for Montreal a year ago. Uh, tell me about Colorado. I mean, uh, you know, your introduction to the organization, you get to go down there for a bit of development camp opportunity right away, a bit of a whirlwind perhaps for you. But, uh, you know, tell me about uh, becoming a member of the Avalanche organization and and kind of what it's been like for you in the in the weeks since uh, since draft day. Yeah, it's just, you know, going out to, for development camp, getting to see the facilities, getting to meet everyone, all the staff there. just getting to really appreciate the organization really it's you know it's a great place there great little spot getting to meet all the other prospects it's it, I had a fun time at dev camp and you know just kind of showed up uh, been myself and you know, had, had a bit of fun tell me about your seattle thunderbirds teammates because by my count that's 18 players now from the seattle thunderbirds have been drafted in the last five NHL drafts to to lead the WHL and kind of really set a mark as far as you know development of players is concerned what is it about that group in Seattle that that uh, you know you think uh, in terms of whether it's player development whether it's uh, you know recruiting scouting that has kind of given that team such a leg up when it comes to kind of moving players on to the next level yeah you know just the, the organization as a whole is just outstanding you know everyone from owners all the way runs through all the staff all the way down to the players itself even through the bill of families you know just everyone there is just so great at what they do you know uh, the development that we've gone through like uh, i've gone through even through the past three years of playing there has just been outstanding and it's just can't thank the the seattle organization enough for everything that they've done for me and everyone else that's gone through there it's just such a great place to play such a great organization everyone's great people it's, it's just awesome there of course, we spent a bit of time with you guys in May and in June during the WHL Championship Series and during the Memorial Cup as well. Jeremy, I mean, has has the kind of the the, the fever dream, if, for lack of a better term, kind of kind of settled down a little bit from that kind of experience. So just take me back. I mean, what are some of your favorite memories now of of that whole run with Seattle this past spring? Uh, honestly, I want to say, like, obviously winning the, winning the cup is great. Making it to the Memorial Cup finals is great. But I think just the off-base memories with all the guys there, all the staff, just being together as a, as a family, really, has been probably one of the best memories for me. What was the Seattle Thunderbirds group chat like when Thomas Millich was drafted by the Winnipeg Jets? <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. You know, now, we, well, I guess in the past, past few years, we had a few guys go to Winnipeg. So it's just kind of, kind of awesome that we have like you know a bunch of guys that they like, get played with each other in juniors they get to go go play pro together as well I think, I think that's awesome back to you Jeremy I mean we're speaking now in kind of mid-July uh you know six weeks or so from the start of of camps at the WHL level the NHL level as well uh, 
you know, what's your summer been like? I mean, you know, you, you go to Colorado, but what, what's keeping you busy in terms of training and, and kind of preparing for the season ahead? And by extension, what's what's keeping you busy off the ice? What do you like to do when you have a bit of downtime? Yeah, you know, I've just been training hard for, for the camps and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, just really trying to perfect everything that I can. But off ice, I've been uh, just been watching <laughs> been uh, watching suits lately it's kind of uh, I've, I've heard good things about it in the past just haven't really had the, the time to to really watch it you know with all the hockey that's been going on but find a little bit of downtime I get to watch some of that it's been it's been it's been great actually I like it are you on who's your, who's your favorite character on suits I don't know I, I kind of like Mike Ross like kind of basic but he's a good character just kind of a scrappy guy who kind of makes the most out of every opportunity he gets, right? Exactly, yeah. Do you draw a bit of inspiration from that, maybe? <laughs> I don't know about inspiration. I just kind of started watching, so I can't really say much yet. But, yeah, it's a good show. I like Mike. 